All right, hi, I'm UCT 105L class. This is the week five remote lecture. Uh, let's uh, jump right into it. Okay, we've got uh, new scales, as you recall from last week. We've got some new scales that we're dealing with, the major and the three minors. Uh, let me get a key from the piano. Let's go ahead and warm up. Let's start with our major scale. Two, three, four. Do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do, ti, la, sol, fa, mi, re, do. Now let's go to the minor scales, beginning with the natural minor. And remember the uh, syllables for the natural minor. Uh, you take the major mode solfege, uh, keep the uh, initial consonant sound uh, constant, uh, keep that one the same, and the vowel sound will just turn to A. So, me, le, and te, the third and sixth and seventh scale degrees are the ones we are working on. All right, let's do those two, three, four. Do, re, me, fa, sol, le, te, do, te, le, so, fa, me, re, do. All right, we'll do the harmonic minor. Remember, the harmonic minor is like the natural minor, except the seventh scale degree is raised like in major. Remember, that gives us that very large augmented second interval. Let's sing it. Ready, go. Do, re, me, fa, sol, le, ti, do, ti, le, sol, fa, me, re, do. Okay, and then when we go along to the melodic minor mode, which has a different form ascending than it does descending, remember ascending, it has la and ti like in major, and descending it has te and le like in natural minor. Let's sing it. Ready, go. Do, re, me, fa, sol, la, ti, do, te, le, sol, fa, me, re, do. All right. Um, open up your Berkowitz book to page 12. We're going to do a couple of examples uh, further um, from where we stopped last Friday. Uh, page 12, number 39. Okay. 12, number 39. Now, you may be wondering, um, you know, which of these it is. And this, uh, remember on uh, Friday's class, we uh, looked at them and tried to identify which it is. So look at number 39 here. Um, if you scan it, you'll see, oh, look, B natural. Um, so you might think it is harmonic minor mode. But if you look um, in the third complete measure, if you look at the third measure there, you'll see a B flat. So if you run into a B flat and a B natural, you're uh, dealing with melodic minor mode. Remember, the melodic minor mode has one form of the of the, one form of the scale ascending and the other descending. You may wonder it doesn't really look ascending and descending. Don't worry about it. We'll talk about that um, in Friday's class about exactly how um, what is considered ascending, what is considered descending. It's it's not actually. Um, Always so cut and dry. But let's go ahead and sing this one. Do, it's in cut time, but we'll do it in four, two, three, four. Do, re, me, fa, so, me, do, so. to number 40. Uh, this is in the key of G minor. All right, and this is actually a really good example of, a, of, uh, of melodic minor mode. So you see the first two measures, do, te, le, sol. So we're moving from do back down to sol. We're descending away from do. And we have the lowered scale degrees, just like in natural minor. In the third measure, sol, la, ti, do, we're stepping up to do, and we have the ascending uh, portions. This is a good classic example. So let's go ahead and sing this together. One, two, and three. Sol, do, te, le, sol, do, te, le, sol, sol, la, ti, Re, 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 do, ti, 
Let's get uh, the key for number 41, and you'll notice by the key signature, this is E minor. All right. And if you analyze it, as we descend down almost through the entire scale, we don't, quit, we don't get quite all the way down to do, we get to re. Um, straight down, that is the descending portion of the melodic minor scale, and as we ascend uh, back up to Do again, the arc, uh, kind of a reverse, reverse arch form, um, we use La and T. Alright, let's go ahead and sing this one. Do, you might want to be this high, or Do if you've got really low notes. One, two, and three, and four. Do, te, le, so, fa, me, re, me, fa, me, fa, so, la, ti, do, so, me, do. And you see the complete chord descending in minor mode there at the very end. <coughs> Let's do one more, number 42. This is in the key of D minor. And you see that there are um, some C sharps. That's T. Okay, but remember uh, our discussion in class on Friday. Uh, the presence of the seventh scale degree, a raised seventh scale degree, is not necessarily a, uh, a, a hard and fast indicator of uh, one scale or the other. What you want to do to make sure is to find out what is the sixth scale degree doing. So we see. Uh, the seventh scale degree is up, and look at the sixth scale degree, which is B flat or B, and we see that there are B flats there, so we are dealing with harmonic minor mode. Okay, and remember also uh, what I mentioned in the class about kind of the bubble, where you have sol and le kind of pushing downward, and T and do pushing upward, and kind of keeping the melody in this little bubble here. Um, it's uh, that way and at number 42. You can see it never goes down below T and never goes up above Le. Let's uh, get D minor and we'll try it out. All right, one and two and Do, Re, Do, T, Do, T, Do, Re, Do, Re, Me, Fa, Sol. that up. You probably, I don't know if you can hear it on the, on the camera or not, but Kimo Smith is uh, uh, playing the organ, is practicing the organ in the hall next to, uh, uh, next to me here, and uh, boy, he was in another key uh, altogether and I lost my place. Don't worry about it. Um, you can always pull the slider back and make sure that you don't make any mistakes. Um, I make mistakes all the time, of course. All right, let's explain a new concept. This is related to rhythm. We're not going to do anything in the Kazez book right now, but we are going to introduce a bit of a rhythmic concept. Okay, so far we've been using simple meter. We've been using uh, simple meter, and simple meter is called such because the unit of the beat, whatever it uh, happens to be in the case of 4-4 four, four time, the beat is the quarter note. When you do your subdivision, your first level of subdivision, it is divided into two parts, and so on. Okay. So uh, the, the simple subdivision is dividing the beat into two. Today, or now, we're going to talk about the compound meter, or compound subdivisions. Everything we've done so far, T, 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 Tiki, Tiki, T, Tiki, Tiki, T, has been simple. Everything has been in divisions of two at the first level of the subdivision of the beat. But in compound meter, the beat is divided into three. Hence, this is 6-8 time, 
And even though 6-8 technically means there are six beats to the bar and the eighth note receives the beat, in practice we do it in two, just like 2-4. Two, this receives a beat, this receives a beat. T, T. And when we divide, when we subdivide at this first level from the beat, it is divided into three parts. So instead of one and two, and it's one and a two and a one and a two and a, okay, and that is the compound subdivision. Okay, so a compound subdivision or a compound meter, the prevailing beat is divided into three parts instead of the two that we have in simple. Okay, we're going to spend um, some amount of time in uh, on uh, Friday's class on that. We're going to finish up some parts of the uh, simple meter chapter and then go into chapter two a little bit of the Kazez where we'll get the opportunity to see uh, what we were doing. Actually, no, um, I changed my mind. Get out the Kazez book, take the Kazez book, and let's do a couple examples right now. Go to page 32 in the Kazez book. We're going quite a, uh, a bit further ahead, but I'd like you to get this um, concept down. All right, uh, page 32. Bottom of page 32, number 40. Okay. The recommended speech cue is Beethoven. We're not going to do it. We'll just do it on T. All right. Number 40, I'll give you two subdivided measures, and we'll come into it together. One, two, one, and a two, and a T, 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 T. Let's do one more over on page 33, number 41. Uh, here to four, we were doing 6-8 time. Now we're doing 12-8 time. Okay, 12-8 time, at least how we typically do it, is four beats. Each compound, one and a two and a three and a four and a, let's try number 41. I'll give you one subdivided measure and we'll go ahead and do this one. One and a two and a three and a four and a T, 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 all right, and uh, next week uh, perhaps we'll get into some of the double subdivisions and how that all works, but that's uh, a little bit of an introduction to compound meter. We'll deal with it more on Friday. All right, uh, have a good weekend. We'll see you guys later.